We pray to God that they will look to the hill with coming to help and help them be strengthened and encouraged and not discouraged. Father, we thank you, Father, for the first fellowship of 2020. We thank you, Father, for that. And thank you, Father, for continuing to direct our path and navigate our steps. We may continue, Father, to stay in full harmony with you. And Father, whatever credit, whatever we come, whatever we accumulate on this side of the cross, Father, we give all the glory, the honor, and the praise to you. Bless the North Side to the Christ. Continue to bless Brother McClellan and the leadership here. Continue, Father, to guide the head and wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And oh God, we be careful to give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. It's in the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Let everyone say, Amen. Amen. Anyway, you bless me, Lord, you know I, I be satisfied.
that uh, the relationship that we have here was something that you wait until you go to the national relationship. Uh, this is close to the relationship going to be to us for a long time. And so therefore, uh, you're going to learn about what's going to go on in just a little while uh, at the national uh, lectureship. Brother Samuel Powell and the Hilltop Church uh, is here to tell you all about the national lectureship. That's enough about the introduction and the occasion for the national lectureship. I hope you attend the national lectureship. I hope you don't miss the national lectureship. All right, we want to thank Brother Clinton for giving us the purpose of the lectureship. When we were planning for the state lectureship, that was a group that was uh, formed, I call it Jacksonville Unity Mass Chorus. But you, somebody added more names to it, I don't remember all of the bridge, Jacksonville Bridge, Acapella Mass Chorus, Inc., something like that. But they're going to come at this time, directed by brother by Andrew Daniels. Again, this was a group that was formed uh, for the state lectureship. And they're going to come at this time, Jacksonville Unity Mass Choir. Hey, everybody. How y'all doing today? It's so good to see these uh, United Christians about to sing a song or a few songs that we had rehearsed. Uh, since August of 2019. But y'all, we're gonna have some fun and we just gonna we just gonna pray. By the time we get to heaven, it's gonna sound alright. My God. Yeah. Alright, that's what we're gonna do.
heavy heart. For one of us is not here. And then, Father, we come because we have gladness in our hearts. Because we know you are here. Thank you for all that you've done. You have brought us a mighty, mighty long ways. We do not deserve it, but Father, you look past our folks. And you have blessed us with our needs. We pray for every soul that is here, for every heart, every mind that is bowed down and under submission to your name and your word. We pray, Father, knowing that you are God. Beside you, there is none other. I pray, Father, for uh, this fellowship. Churches throughout the city of Jacksonville and throughout this country. In fact, throughout this world. Because, Father, we know your word is powerful. Bless us with the blessing that we stand in need of. The blessed electorship. And all those, our Father, that are meeting and praying, strategizing and trying to come up with best ways to preach and to teach your word. Let your word go forth. Let those, our Father, that will touch and agree with one another be sound in their delivery of your word. Proclamation, our Father, let it be heard Whatever your word is preached, bless us as Father we go individually and as we go collectively. And let your word not return to us, Lord, in the name of him that has walked waters and come raging seas. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Trouble sometimes are here, feeling
don't run too fast. I can't make it on my own. I ain't strong enough to last. I made up my mind. And I ain't gonna turn around. I started with Jesus. And I
There's a youth portion in the lectureship, right? Uh-uh. There's a youth portion in the lectureship, right? All right, I'll probably tell you about that later on. Okay, total praise. One. The total praise. Come on, this brother, for this lectureship. It's lectureship time, right? Is this a lectureship pep rally? What is it?
uh, coming together most well in Orlando, uh, May 23rd through the 28th. And we're here in regards to this uh, particular, uh, the North Florida rally, in regards to just giving you more information in regards to um, the lectureship. Uh, but the we want to give you a uh, now, now look now, when I say lectureship, y'all come on now. Well, the staff wanted me to, to introduce our staff, and I, and I know they are at the table, and I hope they can hear me. Um, those individuals um, who are our staff working uh, from Hilltop, who came up from Hilltop, and I hope they stick their head in the door. I hope they can hear me. Can they hear me? I uh, in the back. Um, sister, uh, sister, sister Sarah Williams uh, is our uh, superstar uh, secretary. She she's here, and and also our assistant secretary, uh, Sister Celeste Mayhew. Um, is here today, a uh, tandem team, and we're grateful for them. They on our registration, also working our registration. Uh, sister Lisa Pounds uh, is, uh, is, is on our registration team, and also we have uh, Sister Rosemary Gibson uh, is on our registration team, and also uh, from Miami, we borrowed her. Uh, William Maddox, his wife, Sister Joyce Maddox, is also on our uh, registration team, and we're just grateful for all of these sisters and, and what they're doing uh, in regards to getting individuals signed up and, and the, the hard work that they do. And they, they, they know sometimes I, I, I become a tough taskmaster, but, but they, 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 they are great. And I want you all to uh, see these, uh, these ladies and, and we appreciate them so much uh, for what they, they are doing uh, in regards to this lectureship, in regards to registering people uh, for, for this. I just want to thank you. I want to make sure to see. All right, now, now, I want, I want to say this uh, again. I mentioned this, uh, Sister Roxy. We're grateful for her and, and her uh, her company and all that they're doing. Uh, we're just so grateful for partnering partnering with uh, Roxy and her great committee and the great uh, e blast and the advertisement that she's given us is absolutely awesome. Not only that, but there are other things, components of the lecture she's assisting in uh, regards to the hotel and, and also. The food and different things she's doing. I appreciate Roxy so so very much. Now again, those dates are May 23rd through the 28th, and we're going to kick off on that Saturday, and it's going to be a concert. We're reaching out to some groups um, across this country and in regards to coming and singing on that Saturday night, and you don't want to be a part in, in that great um, concert. We're going to kick everything off, and then on Sunday, then we're going to have. A, a mass worship will start at 9 o'clock. We're going to have uh, a Sunday school lesson and followed by um, the worship service. And then and that afternoon, we're going to have more singing. That afternoon, then we're going to have an evening worship. And we're going to have preachers from across this brotherhood who are going to be coming and sharing with us under that banner. The theme will be the eternal purpose of God. Looking at the plan, the place, and purpose of God. We'll be looking at that purpose, plan, and place of God. We'll be looking at that and we're just excited. Uh, in regards to that. And then, uh, kicking off that, that Monday, uh, we will not only um, have classes for, uh, there'll be workshops that will be going on, but there'll be a ladies component. And we'll have lady sisters who uh, will speak all over this brotherhood. They'll be coming in uh, in regards to sharing uh, under this great theme as well. And then also we have a youth component. Our young folk will be going to Universal Studios. They'll be going to other outings um, during this week. And so we have a component for them um, as well. We're looking forward to that ladies' luncheon, and that's going to be on Wednesday. And you don't want to miss that, sisters. You don't want to miss that ladies' luncheon. Uh, it's going to be a great event. Again, sisters just have an opportunity to fellowship and to get to know one another so that we can unify our speech and we can be who God has called us to be. And then so those from that Thursday, uh, we'll have the John O. Williams Memorial uh, Banquet. And so it's just going to be a, a great time in the Lord. Now, and, and we come and what we've done, we, come, we want you to be there, Jacksonville. Yeah, yeah. We want y'all to be there. Yeah. We want y'all to be there at the lecture share. Yeah. That's the reason why we come, that we may rally ourselves together in regards to this um, great event, bringing together saints of God from across this country together to commune, to get to know one another, and to strengthen our faith. And so therefore, if you register today, now we mentioned we got to have 15 at least 15. Now I know we can get 15. We got five folks so far. I know we can do 15 registrations. Because once we get 15, then we're going to go into our giveaway later on. I'm going to give you a time. See how nice I'm going to be? I'm going to give you all time. So I know you brought your checks, you brought your credit cards, you brought, you brought your money, you brought the EBT card, whatever you brought. If, if it'll spend, 
behavioral speed. You go ahead and register because what happens if you register today? Then what happens is you receive a lectureship T-shirt. You gonna get your lectureship T-shirt? And now you get a free lectureship T-shirt, but your name will be entered into a drawing. We wanna have that drawing today. Now there are four things we wanna give away. We give away that Blu-ray um, DVD player. We wanna give away that blender. We wanna give away that food uh, processor. We wanna give away also a color, color, color television. We wanna do all of that today, but we can't stop the drawing. Until we have at least 15 people registered. And so if you're planning on going, you might as well go ahead and register. Because no need to wait, because if you wait, and then you'll end up paying more, and then you gotta pay for a t-shirt, and then you're gonna miss out on the drawing. And you don't wanna do that. You don't wanna, no, you don't wanna do that. You don't wanna do that. And so if you're planning on going, make sure you take care of that today. And those sisters, the ones you just saw, came up here, they're gonna let me know as soon as we reach our, our 15, then they will start, and then we'll come back and we'll do the drawing on today. God bless y'all. Thank you in advance for your support and all that you're going to do. God bless you. All right. Brother Teray, come give us something, man. Brother Little Cool, don't you? Yeah. All right. Get us hyped up for this lecture show. We're going to try. Brother Ron Gibson, because you got me a little bit. I love to praise
thank you for this opportunity. Uh, as we know the Northside family, but not just the Northside family, Christians and brothers across this brotherhood for a morning for the loss of a loved one. We love her too. We have a relationship with her. We certainly miss her. Thank you for this time. I don't have much to say, but I'm going to say the same thing that I said to our state lectureship. It's to get ready, get ready, get ready. Well, we're once again glad and thrilled to have the lectureship I'm coming our way, and Orlando is a great, a great place to visit. I believe the theme is the purpose, uh, the plan, and the place of God. When I thought about it, I thought about what it says in Ephesians chapter 6. Ephesians chapter 6, got five minutes, got to be up James Brown, got to get and quit. Amen. In Ephesians chapter 6, verse 13 and 14, it says, Wherefore, take unto you the whole arm of God, that he may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having it all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness. Uh, the theme for the lectureship is the purpose, a plan, <clears throat> and a place of God. And I want to talk about three minutes about God's plan that you keep on standing. Yeah. Amen. And we pray that this lectureship will help us and show us ways to keep on standing. Because we go through life, you will always face things from day to day and situations that will try to keep you from standing. But you must have a made up mind yeah. and have a determination yeah. that you're going to keep standing for what is right. Yeah. Today and every day, we must put on the whole arm of God yeah. that we're able to stand and fight against the techniques and the trickery of the devil. Yeah. But we must have a made up mind. And I believe that this lectureship <laughs> will help us and show us ways how to stand. And when I think about standing, I thought about uh, a man that once had a farm and had an old mule. And that mule, uh, one day fell in the well in the back. And the farmer tried everything he could to get that mule out of the well, but he was unsuccessful. So he decided that I will uh, go and get some of my, my, my neighbors to help me to bury this mule. Since I can't get him out, the least I could do is give him a decent burial. And so they came over with their shovels and they throw the dirt in the well. And the well fell, and the dirt fell on the mule back. The mule was shaking off and stomping on his feet. Yeah. They kept throwing dirt on the old mule and the mule was shaking off and pecking on his feet. Yeah. They kept throwing dirt and the mule kept shaking off and pecking on his feet. And after a while, with all the shaking and the pecking, the mule had risen up to the ground level and they would have stepped out the well. I come by to tell you today that if you want to keep standing, you got to shake it off and pack it on your feet. When people talk about you, shake it off and pack it on your feet. When co-workers lie on you, shake it off. I wish I had a church here today. Shake it off and pack it on your feet. When things don't go right in your relationship, shake it off and pack it on your feet. And I pray that this year, the legacy was short to me. I shake it off uh -huh, and pack it on your feet. May God bless you. This is going to be a great event. Uh, it's wonderful to have a lectureship in the state of Florida. Now, this may be the last time for a few years, so please don't miss this opportunity to come and enjoy uh, the words. It's great that they have the theme book as being Ephesians. Ephesians is the theme book, uh, and Ephesians 1 and 3, blessed be God, uh, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Uh, the Church of Christ is a heavenly place, and in this lectureship, we're gonna be, okay, okay. Uh, this national lectureship, we're gonna be among brothers and sisters in Christ from all over the country. So don't miss this opportunity to be in this heavenly place as we prepare for heaven itself. Amen? Amen. Amen. Thank you. I want to uh, encourage everyone that possibly can to attend the lectureship. And the reason why I'm going to encourage you doing this is because 
you would have an opportunity to hear preachers from all over the country, uh, the upcoming preachers and also some of the older preachers that you perhaps will never get an opportunity to hear. Uh, you probably have heard about them, uh, but uh, they all will be there in one place at the lectureship. And so uh, it would do you good to make a sacrifice to attend the lectureship uh, and hear some of these uh, upcoming preachers and also some of the preachers, uh, some of the pioneer preachers, not too many of us, uh, them left. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, you really will do yourself a favor by doing that. And so we're going to encourage everybody uh, to make whatever sacrifice you, you can make. Uh, we're trying to put something together. I hope that we can take a busload uh, uh, there uh, together uh, at the lectureship. Uh, we are probably putting something together uh, to uh, uh, get you there uh, to the lectureship. So, I want to say that uh, uh, Brother Pines and uh, the congregations in that particular area, I believe that they're going to put some new life into uh, the lectureship. The, uh, uh, the, the national lectureship actually uh, has gone down over the past years. But I believe that if, if anybody can put life back into the lectureship, uh, there would be uh, the Central Florida uh, uh, congregations. I noticed that they are taking a lot of the ideas that we had here. We put life in the uh, uh, state lectureship, uh, and especially uh, with the youth component, the youth component. And that's the reason why congregation dies and also uh, lectureship dies because we, for, we forget about the young people and the older people get older and they retire or, you know, be called to heaven uh, uh, where did they call? But anyway, uh, <laughs> and uh, but, but I put in the youth components, and so it'd be good to take your vacations there. Take your vacation uh, there. Some of you got time shares there, and uh, uh, but it'd be good for you to do that. And you should register uh, today. Register today. Um, uh, Sister McClendon, she registered. And I almost registered uh, twice. It reminded me that I registered at the last uh, year of the lectureship and they were signing me up again. And, and so uh, we ask you to make sure uh, that you register because after the day, um, after a while, should I say, uh, the price is going to go up. And uh, you'd like to have a bargain, you'd like to have a deal, uh, then this is a deal. And so uh, make a sacrifice and uh, register uh, for uh, the 76th Annual National Lectureship of the Churches of Christ. Uh, we appreciate uh, uh, Brother Pounds uh, uh, bringing this uh, to the North Florida area. And we were glad to be the host here. And uh, we just thank God uh, for this opportunity uh, to be able uh, to, to attend the lectureship in Orlando. You know, it is so close until you can walk. And you don't have to pay hundreds of dollars, dollars to go across the country. If you don't have any money, you can just walk down to the lectureship. Is that right? We used to walk like that, didn't we? Yeah. Anyway, okay, I know where you get there. Uh, you can ride the donkey there to the lectureship. I better quit. We still show We need some more registrants, okay? We need some more to, to register. So as we dismiss, go to the table. You know, you're the, you're the marketing man. Come on, you tell them. Do the ABC register. Uh, a, we actually need it. You know, B. All right, all right. I'm trying to push this thing again. And 
Now, we got closer from our last announcement, but we're still not there. Now, it'd be a shame for me to have brought all those things from Winter Haven to Jacksonville. Now I gotta take them back home with me. I know y'all wouldn't want me to do that. I don't think y'all want me to do that. I don't think y'all want me to do that. And like I mentioned, if, if you want to go to the lecture, this is the greatest deal you're going to get. I mean, you, you know, you're getting a t-shirt. T-shirt by itself is $12 in regards to that. If you go online and register, that's going to be another uh, 5 or $6. So that's about um, $18. And, and then you have an opportunity to go home with, with something in addition. Now, surely. And I'm sure if you're going, I say if you are going, this is a great time. This is a great time to register and to sign up. And so we'll go ahead, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, yeah, sing a congregational song, give folk an opportunity, those individuals who like to go register, get them a chance to do that, um, and then we'll see where we are. Man, that TV look kind of good. Okay. The first thing we're going to do, first thing we're going to do, uh, thank you all so much for your patience. Y'all have been so patient. We're gonna give away a we're gonna give away a Blu-ray disc DVD player. Alright, this, this is the first thing we're gonna give away. Alright? Alright. And then and the first thing, no look, this is all day. Oh, she's not gonna let you know. Let you know. And the person, the person who wins is Willie Crosby Jr. Savior, and he's our mediator. 